As you see, we glue all the felts on our tray, and while it's drying, uh, we just, uh, it's be always better to spend the time for something else. Uh, in our case, uh, you see the side blocks, we have to plug the original holes, since later on we just drill them on uh, our uh, position that uh, fit to our tray. In this case, we use the bit, we just uh, make the holes here and plug them with the maple uh, shanks. Once again, we got the light, you always use the light, and uh, we just like install the drill bit, as you see. Install the drill bit. And as you see, uh, of course, this uh, uh, right dimension here for our shanks, and we, uh, we just plug them in uh, and uh, using, using the glue here, we just like we put our glue to be sure that it's penetrated. We put them all the way like that and the same here. And uh, while they're drying, we just uh, go for another step. As you see, our tray is ready uh, to assemble the parts. Uh, we use the same our gestation like a table. We place it uh, between our bars here, it got support here. Here we put uh, our parts here in the box that they supply us. The screws probably, uh, you can just replace them somewhere here, just for you to work comfortable. And the guide, if this is ready. Now we have to put the first one. We start from the small ones. Since it's a magnetic screwdriver, you just place the screw and you just can start it like that. It's an impact, keep the wire in a position, and now when you, when you lock one, uh, all the rest goes automatic. You don't have to worry about this wire going on the wrong position one by one. Why I recommend you to use this excellent tool in the new design, Makita, is just left and right, because the torque on the screws is pretty heavy, and when you install them, you're pretty tight. But if you use this tool accurate, you just like uh, place the screw, take the flange, and you just like do it like that. Don't stay too long on the flange, then you can do it by hands. And as you see, it's a very efficient, and most is very comfortable. You do it one by one. Like that, tie them. Yeah, it takes a little time, of course, uh, to do this, but it's still very, very efficient. Uh, if you do it by hands, it takes, takes you maybe you know, three times, or just if you're a very strong person, you might be doing it fast. Be sure that everything in the distance of reach your hands. These ones, the screws, you got a good light and like this. You see, it's very easy. But one more time, I want to just like emphasize uh, and focus on this uh, excellent tool. This X, one more time, it's uh, Makita Cordless Impact screwdriver. Uh, as you see, we install almost all of them, uh, several pieces left over. We still continue. And you see how the, uh, they nice position. Uh, of course, mostly it's because of the quality of manufacturing these parts. It's no doubt uh, that they are very, very high quality. And of course, uh, all these calculations the proper tool that we use, it's all uh, add to the uh, good quality of the final product. And our stack is, is kind of uh, ready, not 100%. We're still going to have to do some, some steps, but 
the main thing is done on this stack. Let's see. Okay, we can put them in the pan. Yeah, now, uh, as you see, we, uh, we have our stack assembled. There are uh, several steps we have to do on the, this one. First, on our station, we have to position our uh, tray to our laser beams. And how we do it? We got a special moving uh, rods here that we can place our stack here, you see? We place, we just lock it, yeah. Now, as you see, we place our, our stack on a moving, uh, you see these arms, they move in, a, in the channel. We, we put our laser beam, right? And you see, we open our moving channel and we just place it in, uh, in the center of the pin and lock it. Same, we do it on another side. We just place our damper action that uh, our beam goes through the center and lock it. Now, we position our uh, damper action accordingly how it was on original. Uh, what it shows us, this dimension here is designed that it show us this gap. It's exactly position the center pin from the wall. That's why we need this dimension later on when we drill our side blocks. Basically, we show you uh, all the procedure how to do it. It's just only uh, one thing we want to uh, show you, uh, how we're going to uh, position the springs. Because all our flanges, they are designed to be under the springs. And the stun we did the same way. Uh, stun we used the springs all the way to the uh, high uh, treble section. Why they did it, there is some reason that action parts not hit the stop rail. And uh, that's the best uh, way to do it. Anyway, uh, since we already got these dimensions and we know that our damper action positions accordingly the old one, we can do some uh, other stuff, uh, especially we have to uh, adjust our uh, parts accordingly the keys uh, by putting the paper here. And it is a, it's a pretty common thing to travel them in the right position. Uh, what we want to show you today, this is a very important uh, portions of uh, rebuilding uh, damper action, is our uh, just like position of our action uh, by the laser beams, then the simultaneous uh, transfer of, uh, dimensions uh, and drill uh, the new stack and uh, assembling uh, using, of course, the common uh, tools that you can buy at uh, the stores. Uh, uh, but everything that we show you today, uh, you will see. If you follow this, probably decrease your labor five times. It's no doubt. Uh, of course, if you do one action in a, during a year, maybe it's not so important. But if you're in this business and do it every week, yeah, you'd better do it and uh, uh, we show you uh, more uh, pieces. Yeah, one more step that I want to share with you in the process of uh, creation new damper action. Uh, once you see it is done already assembled, everything, we already get all uh, important dimensions. Uh, now we have to uh, mark uh, the places where we're going to drill the holes to install the springs uh, for uh, the damper lifters. And um, of course, there is uh, certain issues that you have to avoid. Uh, it's going to be small drill bit. And once you use the small drill bit, it's uh, using the uh, soft places on your wood. It means it's going to be left and right. Of course, you have to make the points uh, uh, market. But again, even the points when you get to this groove, 
it sometimes goes left and right. That's why I designed this very simple tool. As you see, it's just a, it's an angle from uh, the wood, and inside it's uh, the pin with the pointer and the spring. You just place it here and just uh, hit it with the with the hammer. Let me show you uh, how we just calculate it. We place it in a position and hammer it. Then place on another position, hammer it, and place it in another position, hammer it, and all of them like this. And as you see, uh, it gets exactly in a groove. Because later on, when we use the fine drill bit, uh, they go right in these uh, spots. Everything is designed the way that your spring goes a little bit on the right side because the way how they made this, uh, the springs, uh, they just, the, the coils move the actual wire a little bit on the left side. That's why we put it a little bit on the right side that the actually wire goes straight in the middle of the uh, lifter. Yeah, that's uh, basically, we want to share with you uh, some technique that uh, really, really just help you to do it efficient. And beside this, we're confident that this technique can be applied to any other, just like steps. Uh, if you create, if you can do, it's just many different options. I want to show you some tips how you uh, drill the holes for uh, springs. The first of all, you see it's already installed. That's a diameter we use because uh, we have the special dowels for this diameter. Uh, you have to uh, bore uh, the tray on a certain distance. That's why we got a symbol that we uh, put it on uh, this position and then uh, use the limiter. On our, uh, on our pr drill press, I designed this limiter that it doesn't go further, right? Like this, I lock it. Now I know that my tray is going to be drilled only on this depth. Okay, we take it out. And one more tip I want to uh, tell you. Once you drill this uh, tray and uh, you do it by yourself, there is one slow down the process when you take the bit out. It's lift the tray. For these purposes, I use the very simple simple tool I design it right it's a limiter you just place it here by the drill bit like this and just clamp it very easy just like clamp it it's gonna be stay just like that that's why when you uh, use the drill bit you will see once you uh, you get uh, your tray under this angle well, I show you once we take it out just like limited here and uh, you can uh, do it really fast like that you see like that it lifted and it dropped it yeah it's it's very important to to do, uh, to have it because you use your uh, only one hand you see one hand is operate with the drill press and another one is like That's basically, that's how you work. And uh, uh, once you follow all uh, these dimensions, it takes you just several minutes and it's really helpful. Yeah, um, all these uh, small things like that, it's very important. It just they make your work comfortable and improve your quality. Thanks for watching and see you next time.